Well guys, since I did that special on all the Chinese locks that I got that had were donated to the lab, a lot of you have been asking about this one, the five digit one. This one's by a company called Tanyan, but I've seen a lot of these locks. They're all identical, they just have a different name stenciled right there, so there's probably one company that makes them all. Um, pretty nice lock, you can't shim it. There is a pin here, but you can't drive it out. It's punched in that way and you're gonna have to destroy it. So it's a pretty hefty lock, not too bad at all. Uh, it's got ball bearing inside of it, so you can really can't shim it. The shackle, I don't know if it's hardened or not, but for locking up gym lockers and things, it's probably perfectly adequate. Uh, these come preset for all zeros, so you just line up all zeros, and then comes right open. Now, here's the funny part. If you want to reset this, and obviously you will, the instructions are right there, very clearly written in Chinese. But if you don't read Chinese, that's all right. Uh, all you do, you take the end of it and you rotate it 90 degrees, and then you set the combination you want. Let's say you want, I don't know, 57957. Seven. So 579, seven, oops, and then we take a 5, and then 7. So 57957. Seven. Once you get what you want, you rotate that back, and then that's your new combination. Pretty easy stuff. Go back all zeros, and she's not opening. And that's the way it's supposed to work. All right, let's talk about picking it. Uh, it's not so difficult to pick. Um, it works like any bicycle lock. All you need to do is apply tension to the shackle. And when you apply tension to the shackle, it'll put pressure on the locking ball bearing, which in turn puts pressure on these discs, causing one or more of them to bind up. And you have to put quite a significant amount of pressure. And once you've done that, you find the binding disc, then you turn it until you sense and you feel that you have the right number. And by the way, the lock will tell you when you've got the right number. Let's go ahead and put this in the safe, and I'll show you exactly how to do that and how easy it is to pick through these five-digit uh, combination locks. All right, I got this thing tied up in a vise. It's actually hanging on another padlock, but that's to simulate a door or you know a hasp or a chain on a bicycle or something. What I want to do is take my left hand. I'm going to push down on the body. You could do it from the bottom, but that's a little bit awkward on camera. So I'm just going to push down. And when I do that, I'm placing tension on the shackle, which is binding up one or more of these discs. And the way we figure it out is we just go disc to disc, and you just click them and you figure out which one has a little bit of binding. Now two is binding. Let's see if anybody else. Three is okay. Four has got binding. Yeah, four is binding. And five is three. So two and four. Let's begin with two. So let's just go one number at a time. If I can get my fingernail in there. And you just keep rotating until you feel that shackle fall into the gate. And it just did. I don't know if you saw that, but it literally will jerk as it hits. Now, the, here's the funny part. The lock will confirm that you're on the right number. And the way it confirms it is you notice that I it goes half a click in either direction and actually holds there. If it's on any other number, it won't do that. It only does it once you get inside of the gate. So that confirms that 7, in this case, is the right number. Now let's find the next binder. That one is free. That one is free. That one is really binding. So we're going to take disk number 4. I'll go down so you can see what we're doing. My thumb won't get in your way. Okay. Now we need to watch it. It'll fall into the, uh, the gate when we get to the right number. And there we go. Again, let's confirm it. And we get a click either way, and it locks in place. Now, for any other number, it doesn't do that. So let's put it back on 5. So when it does confirm, so that 5 is the second number. Now let's find the next binder. Okay, he's okay. That one is really binding. And as it happens, I just fell into the gate. Again, it doesn't happen anywhere else. It only happens when it pops into the gate there. Half click in either direction, we got the right number. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's start here. Now this one is finally binding. So let's rotate him. And he's really binding. I'm going to let up on the pressure a little bit. There we go. And just click until we fall into a gate. And there we go. It, there's a confirmation. It clicks in both ways. And nowhere else on the combination does it do that. So half click in either direction, and we're there. And of course, we're on the last one. Uh, since you know all those are right, you can really let up on your tension and just kind of roll it. And you're, when you get to the right number, she's just going to pop open for you. 
So these are not bad. There's some delay mechanism or delay uh, added by adding that last digit. So it's not like a four-digit combination, which we usually open fairly quickly on bicycles. But it takes a little bit of extra time because of that extra number to figure out. These are great little locks for things like wall lockers and you know gym lockers, things like that. But please. Don't use them to lock up your shed or, say, a valuable bicycle because you see how easy they are to pick open. Anyway, fellas, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.